Hi, my name is Alexandru Hernest and I'm a senior product manager here at Acronis. Welcome to our demo of Microsoft 365 Security Posture Management, a game-changing feature in Acronis RMM. Before we dive into the demo, let's quickly explore why MSPs need a dedicated solution for Microsoft 365 management. First of all, Microsoft's built-in functionalities are not designed with MSPs in mind. They lack critical features such as multi-tenancy, making it a significant operational challenge to manage and monitor multiple clients efficiently. MSPs are forced to constantly switch between client M365 accounts, leading to inefficiencies and wasted time. Another major challenge is the lack of clear best practices for defining and packaging Microsoft 365 security services. This creates difficulties for MSPs in establishing standardized services, often resulting in ambiguous service scopes and unbillable hours. This is where Acronis Security Posture Management for Microsoft 365 steps in to address these challenges. It enables MSPs of any cybersecurity expertise level to deliver robust protection to multiple clients at the Microsoft 365 tenant level, all from a single console. What's also exciting for MSPs is that it includes a free version, making it an essential tool for Microsoft 365 security posture management services. Now, let's dive into how it works. First, navigate to the Microsoft 365 management configuration screen in the CyberProtect console, where you can enable the service by setting up the connection to your Microsoft 365 environment. You have two options to connect using your Microsoft CSP account, which is preferable as it allows you to onboard all your customers associated with the CSP account at once. If you are not enrolled in a CSP program and don't have a CSP account, you can connect using your regular Microsoft account and onboard your customers individually. Let's consider the onboarding option with regular Microsoft account. Click the Connect Microsoft Account button and you will be redirected to the Microsoft login page. Sign in using your regular Microsoft account credential. In the next step, you need to grant the Octiga Cloud Security application access to the specified resources for all users in your Microsoft 365 organization. Octiga is our technology partner with whom we develop this feature. Once you click Accept, you will be redirected back to the CyberProtect console. Now you need to map the Microsoft 365 client to your customer in Acronis CyberProtect Cloud. Once a customer is successfully mapped, the Advanced Product Mode is enabled a tenant based on template is applied to the customer and security posture monitoring begins for that customer. To review the security posture of multiple Microsoft 365 tenants, navigate to the Microsoft 365 Management Security Posture screen. This screen provides a high level overview of each customer's security posture including the number of baseline deviations, users, and mailboxes. Clicking on a specific row in the dashboard opens the risk dashboard for that customer, which highlights baseline deviations and user account risks. Now navigate to Microsoft 365 Management Baselines to monitor the status of all applied tenant baselines and remediate deviations. Use the tenant dropdown to filter the list of uh, baselines by a specific customer. You can also enable auto remediation for each baseline where needed. Baselines with a deviated status can be manually remediated if auto remediation is disabled. To remediate a tenant baseline deviation, select the relevant row in the table and click Remediate. 
you will see the progress of the remediation process and once completed the baseline status will be updated to past. Now let's explore how you can onboard and offboard Microsoft 365 users as well as remediate various user risks. To browse the current list of Microsoft 365 users, go to Microsoft 365 Management and click on the Users Grid. Various filtering options are available, including tenant name, user risk, user types, product license, and user role. To onboard a new user, click Onboard User. In the dialog that opens, enter the user details, add contact information if required, and click Create. A notification will confirm the successful creation of the user. To offboard the user, select the user from the table and click Offboard User. In the dialog that opens, modify the user's Microsoft 365 settings as needed. You can configure user settings, assign mailbox delegates, define an automatic response action, or even enable litigation hold. Click Save and the notification will confirm the user was successfully onboarded. And finally, we show how simple it is to remediate user risks. You can remediate several security risks related to a specific user's Microsoft 365 account. For example, administrator accounts with a mailbox, uh, accounts with not enrolled MSA, uh, dormant user accounts, and so on. To remediate a user risk, select the relevant user row and click Remediate User. In the dialog that opens, select the risk you want to remediate from the Risk drop-down list and click Remediate. The next step will outline the remediation actions to be performed. Click Confirm to apply the remediation. That's it. Now it's your turn to try Acronis Security Posture Management for Microsoft 365. With the free version, you gain access to essential yet powerful features at no cost, including multi-tenant Microsoft 365 management, security posture baselines, on-demand security audits, and Microsoft 365 user onboarding. If you are new to Acronis CyberProtect Cloud, Start your free trial using the link in the description. If you are an existing Acronis partner, follow the steps shown in this video and check the documentation for more details. See you next time.